Interesting to hear if you work on a building site or if you have been through a display home, have you seen any of these GPS trackers on LCD, 4K televisions or some of the tools? Because I was reading, reading a very interesting article in the West Australian over the weekend that there's been an upsurge in the number of building companies that are using GPS trackers because so much of their stock or so many of their tools are being stolen. To tell us more, Matt Cooper joins me on Perth Live. He is from GPS Tracking Systems. Matt, hello. Hey, Ollie. How are you going? I'm good, Matt. I suppose this is just part and parcel of uh, 2018, isn't it? You have to put GPS tracking systems into building sites. It is indeed. There's lots of things that are being tracked these days. What in particular are we seeing uh, the tracking devices installed onto? It's mainly um, hot water systems and ovens and the likes. Um, you know, even even in some of the display homes, plasma TVs are going off the walls or probably LED TVs these days are, are being pitched off the walls. So, yeah, anything that's movable. How popular is it becoming? Very popular. Yeah, we're getting a lot of inquiry. It's been great. So how does it work, Matt? Um, the device basically picks up a GPS location and it's got a, a movement sensor in it. So we can actually detect if the, if the unit's been moved and get a sort of an early warning sign. And uh, that data is just sent back via um, the telephone network to the server and can uh, provide alerts to, to the end user. So they can get a, an SMS or an email or even a phone call to uh, alert them that the device has moved. And then um, we can draw a virtual perimeter around the location. And then if the, if the, the unit goes over that border, we can uh, set, set a secondary alert. So it sort of uh, escalates. Sure, absolutely. And then you're able to go and knock on the door and retrieve the products or do you have to hand this on to the police and they go and do the work? Yeah, there's a, uh, the security guys are probably the best ones to talk about that, but there's a few different ways. We've got the, the functionality in our platform allows the, uh, the user and in this case um, the security company to share a link to that particular asset. Uh, so they can actually just send that as a text message or an email to the police mm -hmm. who can act on it straight away basically. So we're finding that people not only are going into display homes, but if there's a big building site and some of the tradies have left some of their gear on those sites, you're also having to probably, I assume here, put some of these GPS trackers on those tools so that they're not pinched. Yeah, we can do that. And it even comes down to um, supplies like, uh, you know, recently a box of, of uh, tap fittings, which were worth uh, a few thousand dollars in a high-end build were taken and you know, we, can, we can sort of uh, secrete these uh, devices into, into those boxes as well to, to track stuff like that. Now, I imagine that the lost or stolen bill would be racking up into the millions and millions of dollars every year. It's massive. It's massive. It's hard to get the figures because a lot of it goes unreported. Mm. So, um, you know, the police and the, the master builders and HIA and, and those people aren't quite aware of the total figures because... You know, if it's under if it's under a thousand dollars, a lot of the builders aren't claiming on insurance anymore because the premiums, the um, the excesses and the premiums are going up. Yeah, and that that just becomes counterintuitive, doesn't it? I'm interested if you it does. any tradies are listening to us this afternoon who have got some of these GPS trackers, give us a call nine double two double one eight eighty two. Because Matt, how easy are they to install onto not only your tools, but then if you are selling in a display home, as you said, onto the plasma televisions or LCDs or four K or whatever they are <laughs> these yeah. days. Yeah, well, all of all the devices that we're using for this type of uh, work are battery powered, so they're quite small. You put the batteries in; um, it's talking to the platform, and it's basically just uh, putting this uh, small device into a into what asset, what asset you're trying to track. Um, so, yeah, really simple to 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 um, start tracking things like this. And what are the GPS trackers? What do they start at? How much does it cost to buy one? Two hundred and twenty-five bucks for our um, our uh, entry level battery powered device. So, if you've got some tools or some equipment which is worth a few thousand dollars really it's you're taking out another layer of insurance oh indeed indeed yeah all right it's very interesting matt cooper thank you very much thanks ollie matt cooper gps tracking systems how widely accessible are the gps tracking systems are you using them on the building sites that you might work at or you may have installed one of these to some of your tools nine double two double one eight eighty two are they on a lot of perth building sites the Monday Agenda, very, very soon. Anna Lee is my guest at 29 to 4. Let's get the latest news headlines. Good afternoon, John Nicholl.